So today we've decided we're going to come to West Bromwich High Street and have a look. Um, West Bromwich High Street has been described as one of the most dangerous high streets in the country. There's been sex attacks, machete attacks, extreme violence resulting in fractured skulls. So I've decided to bring Lisa here on a date. How do you feel about that Lisa? Well I'm quite looking forward to it because we both grew up here and we moved away like sort of 15 years ago now. So it's going to be a bit of a nostalgia trip to be honest. I'm looking forward to reliving some of my old haunts and seeing what the place is like now and if you know how things have changed. Yeah we'll see how it's changed in the last 14 years. Come on we'll have a wander down West Brom High Street. We're going to start from Carter's Green and we're going to walk our way down towards West Brom Town Centre. We're going to have a look at the Queen Square, the King Square, see what that has happened to those. We're going to look at the new bits which is the new square. Really original names aren't they these? <laughs> and then we'll walk past there to Dartmouth Square and out the other side to the end of the high street. Um, we just want to see how things have changed, don't we? You might be interested if you've lived here in the past and you haven't been here for some time, you know, you might be interested to see what it's like now. Or if you've never been and you don't know what West Bromwich is like, perhaps you're a football supporter and you're going to be coming to see your team against the Baggies, you might want to know what West Bromwich is like. So. I think for all sorts of reasons it might be quite interesting. You can be the judge of that. Mm -hmm. So where we've just come from, I think this used to be like Guess Motors were no Charles Clark were on the corner there. Yeah, it was Charles Clark at the uh, at the top of the town. Yeah. And then over the road over there uh, was a little Lloyd's bank that I worked for Lloyds Bank um, many years ago and I actually worked over there where that, that shop is now, UK Zousy 2 Jar. That was the little Lloyds Bank branch. Actually some nice shops, we've just passed quite a nice bakery I have to say. Yeah, it looks very nice that bakery. The prices are really good as well. There's some lovely looking cakes in here. Um, there's some lovely looking bread at really good prices. Now I think that looks a really lovely shop, I have to say. What's it called? Yeah. Craft Bakery it's called. And there used to be a pub down here called The Marksman that I used to go to quite a bit. Let's see, yeah. Uh, let's see what's happened with that. Oh, there's the old hot pole. It's got many a night in there. I think that's quite a popular book still, isn't it? The old hot pole. Yeah, it looks quite well kept, doesn't it? Yeah. So this was the Marksman, was it? Oh, I like it, yeah. So the Marksman has now become the Grill and Shake. And the Super Polo Supermarket. Wow, well, there's a change. Actually, that Polish supermarket looked quite nice as well. There's some nice produce in there. Quite a lot of shops open, isn't there? And lots of independent little shops. Yeah, there is. It's a florist, a decorating shop, lots of little supermarkets. You know, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. It's not just vape shops and takeaways. There's a lot of different sort of shops here. Oh, no. 
Here's a pub I used to go to quite a lot, the Wheat Chief. I have been relatively recently. It's changed a little bit. Um, they've knocked bits of it through, but this was always a good pub. Uh, Holden's Golden Beer, highly recommended. And next door, it used to be Guest Motors, I think it was called. Oh yeah, a lot of people used to get their first cars from here, but now yeah. a Shaftesbury Casino. But it's been a casino for quite some time, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. But yeah, Guest Motors used to be here. And their cars were on the, where the Lidl is now, that was the uh, garage oh, floor court, wasn't it, with the cars, yeah. And then the, on the other side, over there, was the Education and Health Building. So there's a, a very big new little here now. There's, there's lots of supermarkets around here. You've got quite another big supermarket um, doing halal meat on the other side of the road. Oh, I've spotted the first vape shop. My doctor's surgery over there. It looks all like abandoned now. It does, it looks quite good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've still got some chemists along here, haven't you? Yeah. Cake shop, dentists, uh, laundry. We've got a really good mixture of shops. The place is at a shut at the moment seems to be the... Um, like the restaurants. The restaurants, which is it's not surprising that close. Yeah. But compared to a lot of high streets, this end of the car is really thriving. Hardware shop. You don't see many of those sort of shops. No, actually, do you? Your hardware shops. Actually, we could do with a broom, couldn't we? Yeah. We'll have to carry it around with us though, because I eat now. Are these, these chemists have been here years, haven't they? Yeah. yeah there's not like a grocer's shop as well. That's good, isn't it? Shop. Do you remember there used to be a gift place on this corner? Yeah, on the corner here, it used to, I think it was called Smith's Fancy Goods, I seem to remember. I, I thought it went into this shop here, was, I thought it was quite a large front along here, I don't know. Yeah, Yeah, and they, they sold all like little ornaments, didn't they, and things. Oh, and then opposite over there, that was the West Bromwich Building Society headquarters. Uh, that's just an empty, abandoned office now. And, and West Bromwich Building Society have actually moved to a new building over by the fire station. Yeah, it's a big building, isn't it? I wonder what's going to be done with that. It's a bit of an eyesore. Will that be another change? So we're walking up now to the registry office. West Bromwich High Street used to be known as the Golden Mile because of all the shops that were on there and uh, how well frequented it was. But from reading reports in the papers, do you think it was crackhead kilometre these days? So far, I don't think it's too bad at all. Now, opposite over there, that was where um, you had the college 
Sandal College was over there. That's moved now over by the tram station and they've built, I think it's like a sixth form centre. Looks a good building. And the memorial gardens. Show everyone yeah. to here. It is a nice building actually, the remember the um sorry, the registry office, isn't it? I've never been in there at all. Have you? No, You've never. not been to any weddings? No, never been to any. Oh, gosh, I've been to a couple of weddings. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Never been. So, so far, it's all right. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't think that the newspaper reports not at all so far. I think it's fine. I mean, I was quite impressed with yeah. the number of different shops down at Carter's Green. Still, we've got to get to West Bromwich High Street proper. Yeah, yeah, I know. So let's see what, uh, what West Brom High Street proper is going to be like. But in the meantime, just have a quick look around the gardens. Yeah. Very pretty. And we're here on a very cold winter's day and I imagine the summer it's very nice. Yeah, it's a nice fight opportunity, isn't it? There on the uh, and that's a little pavilion thing. onto the high street now. We're coming up to the town hall and the library. Well, just before we do, you know, over there is where the old church used to, there used to be a really old church over there. I think it was called Christ Church and it burnt down in the late 70s, I think. I remember walking through that churchyard and through that old church uh, to go to the library. Um, now the job centre's on it. to build over all the graves. Mm. Well, look, the town hall is all uh, shrouded. They must be doing some work on it. Yeah, I seem to remember hearing that there's a lot of work going on for the town hall and the library, um, which is good news. I think they're you know, obviously going to stay in those buildings and they're going to maintain them. Well, the last time I was in the town hall, it smelt of damp, so I think there was yeah. a lot of work needed doing on that. That looks like it was an old school over there, doesn't it? I think, yeah, I think was, it was, wasn't it? That was the grammar school, wasn't it? That was West Bromwich Grammar was School. Was it? Oh, yeah. OK. And then that later became Menzies, which was the school we went oh, to. Okay which is now the Phoenix Collegiate Academy. All these things change, don't they? Yeah. So look, you've still got the little uh, church festival thing, haven't you, here? Oh, yeah, so this would have led through to Christ church. church. In 1980, that church burnt down by the looks of it. Oh, and here, look, you've got the post office as well. This, I used to spend many a time queuing up in this post office. It was a post office, but then it became a pub, didn't it, called the post office? Ah, yeah, it did. And then it became a karate centre, I think. <laughs> and now it's a tutoring centre and the silly cities, although it looks abandoned yeah, it now. Look, it does look a little bit abandoned, doesn't it, and dilapidated. Yeah, and that was always a silly cities next door to it. And then you had um, the West Bromwich Building Society branch here, that's Hope Place. 
It's a nice building, isn't it? Yeah, I always remember the big chandelier in there, but it looks like it's still in there. Yeah. Have a look through the window, the big chandelier. I remember as a little girl queuing up in there with my mum and always looking at that chandelier and thinking, oh, I love that chandelier. It's a lot smaller now than I remember it being. I remember it being really big. You're easily pleased, aren't you? <laughs> the library and was it the old gas showroom used to be next door to the library but it got burnt down or something? I don't know, that's an old Carnegie library isn't it? It is very nice yeah, inside, the tiling is. in there is, uh, is really good. It's a lovely old building but look at it. Woodley has grown out of it, but what a gorgeous building. Such a shame. I think that was probably a solicitor's office or something years ago. Yeah, I'm not sure. I did my work experience from school at this Barclays Bank. <laughs> and I remember it was like really lovely. Look at it now, the paint's peeling from it. It looks in a right state. Look at the window. It just looks really scruffy. Looks like another bank ready to close, doesn't it? I know. Now this was the NatWest where I had my account. This is the sort of bank area now, isn't it? There are a lot of banks, building societies along here. Oh, that was up there. Wasn't that where the courts were up there? Was yeah, that the, so courts? the courts were up there. In that, in that building, that red brick building, were they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. And that's Edward Street Hospital, isn't it, further up? Right it looks like there's a lot of work going on. It looks like they're knocking down Edward Street Hospital. Certainly the old part of the it. Old bit, yeah, yeah. Which again is a shame in a sense. That's another old building being pulled down. This used to be a, a pub next to the Nat West, wasn't it? I think it's now a, a gentleman's club. Oh yeah, this what used to be the Anchor the the pub. This That's one. it. I used to come here over lunchtime sometimes when what? I worked at Lloyd's Bank. To dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that about no, me, did you? No, you I didn't know that. Well, there you got your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think in the interest of research, I'm going to go into the uh, Angels uh, Gentlemen's Club and just um, just see what, you know, see what sites look, there are to see. It looks like it's closed. I don't think you'll get in. Uh, OK, let's carry on then. Gyms, estate agents. Off licenses. There's a few barber shops as well. I think there used to be, um, oh yeah, there's a furniture shop. I seem to remember a furniture shop along here. Kebab shop if you like your kebabs. We didn't even have a German done when we went to Germany. <laughs> we didn't. Now this that we're walking past now is the old K and J buildings, Kendrick and Jefferson. Um, they were a big employer in West Bromwich many, many years ago. They did paper and card. Actually, I think my nan worked here for a while. A lovely building. Um, just a shame that it's been left to get a rack and ruin. I think this building has. I don't know what their plans are for it now, there's all scaffolding up. I think, is it just a facade now? Yeah, I think they've got rid of the actual building because I think they've built um, the retail park. 
Although there's some of it still here. But th this retail park was built probably, hmm, I don't know, 30 years ago. It was an iconic building, wasn't it, Kane Jones? Oh, gosh, yeah. Did loads of printing work for, well, nationally, didn't it? Yeah, it was a massive employer for the region, wasn't it? And that's all that's left of it now, look. But, you know, you think if that building had been um, refurbished many, many years ago when it closed, that could have been a great venue for, I don't know, theatre or live acts or mm. bars or independent shops. It could have been a really nice building, couldn't it? You know, yeah. instead of some of the monstrosities that they build nowadays. It's just been propped up now. Yeah. Yeah, so West Bromwich has got a Marks and Spencer's outlet. And there's always new shops opening here on this uh, place. The big B&M, pavers, a bike store. rest of West Brom have got to offer. I keep saying that, what things have got to offer. I should be saying things like, if you've ever eaten a biscuit or you know somebody who's eaten a biscuit, let us know in the comments. Did they like it? Because that's what you say on YouTube. Isn't oh it? yeah. Yeah, if you've got any memories of YouTube, put them in. <laughs> no, not memories of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got any memories of West Bromwich, put them in the comments box. Let, let us know. Actually, for me, this this part of the high street here brings back tons of memories because I worked here from 1987 to 1990. If anybody's watching who worked at Lloyds Bank West Bromwich in those years, drop me a comment, say hello. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I remember the shops. There used to be a sandwich shop over the road that I used to go and get my sandwiches from a lot. Um, a lot of sandwiches. No, no, it looks a bit grotty over the road now. Look, um, a nightclub, and so, oh, and there was an off license that I used to um, pop over to. Oh no, this this is the um, Wesleyan Chapel that we were talking about. I don't know whether you can get to the back of this. Shall we go and have a look oh, to yeah. see about the Let's graveyard at the back? There was a graveyard. There's a graveyard at the back and my dad tells me that when he was little he saw his first ghost here. So I'm intrigued to go and see, you know, if it really is as haunted and as spooky as my dad says. I remember sunbathing as well on the top of that building. That building was spooky as well. There was parts of it that you just felt cold when you were in there. Mind you, that was probably because I hated working there. <laughs> oh, look, it's all um, closed off now. You can't get into it. So, look, it's still here. doesn't look as if, no, you can't get into it, which is a shame. Yeah, my dad said the Adelphi Theatre used to be around here. I don't know where that was. Could have scared some people in the offices there. I'd love to go in that Lloyds Bank building upstairs and have a look at what it's like now. 
Which was your office? My office? <laughs> My God, I was the lowest of the low when I worked there. I made the tea. <laughs> the staff room was up there and there was a coffee machine and I used to have to refill it. Refill it and stuff envelopes. <laughs> Things haven't moved on much. I still make coffee and although I don't stuff envelopes. No. Yeah. I've never been in that church over the road either. I think that's a Catholic church, isn't it? It's always been an amusement arcade there. I know we're coming up to a very iconic pub as well, the Sandwell. Let's just have a look through the window here. Oh gosh, there's people in there already. Yeah, I used to come in here when I worked at Lloyds Bank. I used to come in here a lot and have my lunch and we'd always sit up there, that end, and I'd have a corned beef hash. You know Always had like. a corned beef hash. Yeah. This I mean, building here is the iconic public, um, which was uh, caused some controversy, didn't it, back in yeah. the day? Um, everybody hated it. It was built as an art centre and it had a very short lived existence as an art centre. I think it's part of the college still now. Or what, I think it is. A six, I think it? it's a sixth form college now. I have to say, I mean, I went in there quite regularly when it was an art centre, and I really liked it. And it, I just thought it was a real shame that it, you know, it wasn't given enough time to flourish. Really. Mm. I thought though, because there were some interactive exhibits, weren't there, which was like new at the time. But then the kids had the Nintendos and those were as interactive as some of the exhibits that they've got there. So I, I, I don't know. I think it just missed... Uh, it, yeah, it could have been really good. It could have been good. Yeah. It's a shame. Um, right, we could go and have a look around there later, but we're going yeah. to go up the high street now and uh, okay. see what's up this way. Not even the weather spoons could keep open in West Bromwich. Yeah, this was a really thriving high street with lots of chain store names along here. Gosh, so this is all very empty, don't wow.